In order to improve as a runner, avoid injury, and just keep from getting bored, you'll need a balanced training program. Unfortunately, we can't just offer you a ready-to-go training program because training programs are very personal things. But what we can do is explain how you can develop a training program that will work for your unique situation. To do this, we're going to look at the basic principles of training, and then we'll take a look at different types of training sessions and how they work to get you closer to your end goal. Even armed with all this information, you still might want to get some outside expert help when setting up a training program. Talking with a personal trainer or joining a training group may be your next best step. Before getting into specifics of how to set up a training program, there are four basic principles of training that you need to understand. First off, know that your body adapts quite well, if slowly, to physical stress. Over time, your hearts and lungs will become more efficient and your muscle and bone density will grow so that you can handle more punishment. But if you increase the level of stress too fast, your body will break down before it has a chance to adapt. Next, it is important to know that your body doesn't actually improve when you train, but when you rest. So if you train your body too hard and don't rest, you're not going to improve. The third basic principle of training acknowledges that there are three key factors in any training program. Duration, intensity, and frequency. No matter what level you start at, none of these factors should be increased by more than 10% per week. The last basic principle of training simply states that you'll get your best results if you keep your easy days easy and your hard days hard. A good gauge for an easy run is that you should be able to comfortably carry on a conversation. Your hard days will be more taxing on your body and happen a lot less frequently. Your hard days can either involve a long distance at a low intensity or a short distance with a higher intensity. In either case, if you can't maintain the intensity of your run, then you've gone too hard. Keeping these four basic training principles in the back of our mind, now let's take a general look at what a training program looks like. The first part of any training program focuses on high frequency with low duration and low intensity. This phase of a training program is often called base training. Depending on what fitness level you're at when you begin, it may be appropriate to start with walking five days a week. You'll then slowly start to incorporate easy running into your program. Once you're comfortably and steadily running around five days a week, you can then begin to increase the duration of your runs, but keep the intensity low. Now let's say your goal is to run a 10K race. A good rule to follow is to keep the intensity low while increasing the duration of the distance that you can run until you can comfortably run 10K. It's important to note that your base training will continue to provide the foundation of your training program. Let's now take a closer look at the base training part of your training program. 